So the high, the high knee uh, quick step exercise is basically a generic track warm up exercise. And what you're doing is you're trying to do a couple of things, starting with having good strong tall posture, tall hips, erect body, your shoulders in, in a proper alignment. Just turning over your hips into a high knee step quickly, as well as having your arms moving opposite to that. So as your left knee drives forward, your right arm drives forward. Very natural human movement. Just trying to get our body warmed up in a pretty quick movement, obviously stretching through our glutes and, and, and warming up our hip flexors. But the big thing is getting our feet and, and knees moving quickly and, and cyclically. So we're in, we're in cycles, knees up, knees down, arms moving with that as well. Getting your body to link a little bit of its movements together. Some of the common mistakes you're going to see with the uh, high knee with hockey players, again with those external rotators, they're going to want to have their, they're going to see their hips want to point out. Really focus on keeping our hips, our hips in line with our knees, our knees basically in front of our hips, and our arms moving opposite. A lot of hockey players will run with their knees out as well as their arms out as well, so they're almost pitching hay as they're running. You want to keep everything nice and linear. Running isn't really a specific move. You equal to our, our stride and, and skating in hockey. We're looking for just quick hip turnover as well as having our arms linking, so moving with our body, not against our body's grain. So getting our body to work together to, to make movement, that's the biggest thing. And, and as well, trying to move lightly on our feet. I don't want to see uh, our athletes pounding the ground. I want to see nice quick transitions off the ground, with nice high knee step, making sure that our, our glutes as we go, our, our rear end is starting to relax and allow for a full, full knee, knee drive.